I treat a lot of kids in my practice, and today I want to talk about one of the more common problems I treat in children, and that is being in toed, also known as pigeon toed. So, first of all, it's normal for us to walk with our feet out about 15 degrees. So, any child, and any adult for that matter, who walks with their feet straight ahead, or certainly with their toes pointing toward each other, is considered in toed. Now, in and of itself, being in toed is not necessarily a bad thing. The worst problem that we actually see is the compensation that occurs in the foot because of the kid being in toed. Now, what often occurs is here the, here's the child who's in toed, and they're actually told, and for whatever reason, they're usually told this by their grandparents, to walk with their feet straight ahead. And the way they do that is the only way to really do that effectively is to flatten that foot out. And I'm going to exaggerate this, but when that foot flattens out, it goes like this, and that flattens the arch. Now, over time, meaning over decades, that can cause a lot of damage to the foot. It can cause arthritis in the midfoot and cause bunions and a number of other problems. So, the first thing I want to say is don't tell your child to walk out toed or with their feet straight ahead if it's natural for their feet to be pointing in, particularly unless you first get a good evaluation of your child's gait. Right? Now, being in toed can occur at a number of different levels. It can occur at the hip. It can occur at the knee, it can occur in the lower leg, or it can occur in the foot itself where the bones are actually angled in like that. So the first thing we always want to see is what level is this problem occurring at because that gives us the best chance to protect the foot and correct it possibly. Uh, now in many cases, the in toed position will decrease over time. By the time the kid is seven or eight or nine years old, they're in a normal position. In many cases, however, we do need to protect the foot in the meantime and stop that compensation, even when not told to walk straight ahead, some kids will naturally try and correct that. To protect the foot, we will often use an arch support inside their shoe. Now, on children, we like to use over-the-counter supports first because they just tend to grow out of these, and, and using an expensive custom orthotic is, is just usually not necessary. There's some very, very good over-the-counter supports for children on the market, and we just put that under the foot, stop that compensation, and protect the foot. So, if you go to our website, you'll actually find a page on in towing. Just do a search for pigeon toed or in toed, and you'll come up with a page that not only has information on all the causes of being in towed, but some easy home treatment options that you can try. But first of all, I think this is well worth getting a professional opinion on. Uh, if you're in our area, please make an appointment to bring your child in to see us. If you're not in our area, find a podiatrist who specializes in pediatric problems. Take, take your child in to see them, and they can give you a good workup and tell you what's the best way to prevent any damage to the foot over time. Um, if you've enjoyed these videos, please subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.